Okay, how to add a program or a file even to launch automatically when Windows 10 starts up. Firstly, we open the run command, we right click the, the start menu flag and we take run. Alternatively, Windows key and R on your keyboard, same thing, brings up the run dialog box. In here we type shell colon startup, no spaces, all lowercase, and we OK that. This opens up our startup folder, so in order to start programs automatically, we, we can add shortcuts in here. Let's say we want to, in this case, in this example case, we're going to automatically launch, let's take Microsoft Excel. So first of all, uh, we find the Excel shortcut, and here it is here. And we want to find the location, open file location. So I'm right clicked and we've open file location. Here it is here. I want to control and C to copy and control and V to paste. And I've pasted the shortcut. So it's a shortcut and it's pasted in. So I've found the location and that will automatically start. The next time I start Windows, Excel will launch automatically. Now we can do the same with a file. Uh, I've got a, a Word document here and it's just a test file and we can do exactly the same with that. We want this to open when Windows starts. Now in this case, if I drag the file straight into that folder, it uh, moves its location there. We don't want to do that. Uh, I can right click, send to, we'll just create a, a shortcut, send to desktop, create shortcut. So we've got a shortcut to that file now. I can drop the shortcut straight into the startup folder and that will launch that file when Windows starts the next time. Let's put this to the test. So let's go for restart and we restart the computer. So the computer has restarted and on boot up it's launched the two items that we wanted it to. It's launched the actual file um, in this case, this Word document as a test, and it's also opened Excel for us. To reverse the process, same again, we go back into run shell colon startup, and if you want to remove these things, we just take them, take them out, just select them and delete them. It's a quick tip help tutorial. If this has been of help, then of course hit the little thumbs up thing just below the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Computroon on Facebook and online at www.computroon.co.uk